Welcome everyone. This is good. It's going to be a simple program. What we're going to do is we're going to take a number from zero to 10. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to a Roman numeral. So let's put what the Roman numerals actually are up in the comments. So remember, uh, we're using, I'm using all caps. So this is going to be one. This is going to be two. This will be three. This will be four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we'll go back here and we'll put in one, two, make it a little bit easier. seven and actually we have two sevens so this needs to be eight nine and ten so what we want to do here is we want to get a number so again we'll put up here in our comments numbers let's do it all lowercase and the first thing we're going to do is our number equals, we want it to be an integer. And we need to do input. Enter a number from 1 to 10. That'll take care of this. And then we really just need to convert it in there. So let's create a Roman. We'll just call it Roman. And the comment would be number in Roman numerals. So first thing we need to do is get the number and then when it's just one giant if statement. So if you're going to do pseudocode, you're going to do if the number is one, then ro uh, Roman number is, or Roman is going to be I. Um, if it's two, it's going to be this. If it's three, it's going to be that. So first off, we, we want to start off with our if. And remember, we want to use parentheses. So we're going to do if number equals one, then Roman equals I. And then let's put in an else to test to see if we got it right. So we do Roman equals who knows because we didn't put in one. This is just a test to see if it works. And then we'll do a print And Roman is, and then Roman. So let's put in, we'll, do, we'll test it first with one, and then we'll test it with something else that should print, who knows. So we're entering a number, we're going to do one, and it says Roman is one. So we may need to get rid of a space here. So let's do that. And then let's put in two. Anything other than one right now is going to be, who knows? So that works good. So now we just keep building and we're gonna leave the else. And we can just put in, you did not put in a number between one and 10. So we need an LF number equals two, then Roman 
equals I I. So we can copy and make the changes instead of having to type all that stuff. So let's give that a try. And that did not work very well. So let's go and guess we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Thank you, Visual Studio. So let's try it again. Yeah, that's better. So let's see how many we need to do. And so we have our three. Then we need four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. Wow, I guess right. Nine. And ten. So now this is all we're doing is one big giant LF. And we'll put our else here. And we'll change this to you didn't type in a number between 1 and 10. So let's go and test this. Let's try 4. And that works. Let's try 10. And that works. And then we'll try 11. And Roman is, you didn't type in a number. So we're good there. That's it. So we can do a little bit of cosmetic thing in here. We don't need to put in Roman is. We might want to modify this a little, but that's okay for right now. And that's all there is to this then we'll try to look at a video that will actually put in all the Roman numerals for any number that you do by breaking it down. That is it. Uh, if you like it, please uh, let me know and please uh, leave comments as you look at these videos. Have a great day.